Oh, hello there. Welcome to a rare Jelly Crossing video. You're probably wondering what's going on here. Well, let me show you. Yeah. So somehow I got myself into this little design challenge with some of my friends. And we picked 40 items. It is called the 40 item pocket challenge. Is it something like that? So here before us, we have 40 items that we are supposed to use in a build. Now we can use trees, bushes, flowers, terraforming, waterscaping, and custom patterns. But we must use all 40 of these items somehow. And we are allowed to customize them. So yeah, let's see what we can do. Okay, so what I'm thinking is some kind of like town shopping district situation. I have like my wineries here. I did one on the other side, my sunken pergola situation. Okay, anyway. Um, this land's probably gonna be all built up back over here, so I'm thinking I can make this 40 item challenge build some kind of like shops and stuff since there's like pergolas and I could put like the, the stove backwards and we have storefronts and stalls, thank goodness. Okay, and we're allowed to use more than one of each of the items, so that's, that's good, okay. All right, now I got this whole bit of land raised up over here that we can build on. Now I put a warp pipe in my pocket. I put a warp pipe here and it zooms back to this, I just kind of threw it down build build situation so that like, okay, I have a wooden storage shed there and then I can just be like, okay, I have to use that item so I can get out of the storage shed. And I have multiples of each because um, thank you in Canada Crossing for securing all of those. But where, where do I freaking start? Like, where do I start? Do I just, how about we just go like, how about we just go like storefront wood partition situation? Let's, let's start there. Okay, so, so far I did this in another area of my island. I got storefront with hand washing station, hand washing area in front of it. I don't know what it is about the hand washing area. It's just kind of like, I don't know. It's, it's such a odd item when you think about it, but like, it looks really pretty. It's pretty much just a fountain, you know? So I was thinking like I don't want to cover up too much of my vineyard back here, but I need something there. So I think I was going to be like, hi, this is after we pick the grapes, we wash them. Um, and then like, I guess barrel here with maybe decorative bottles on it. And I think I should get bonus points for using a Koori Dune original design on my bottles. Just saying. Okay, now I'm thinking like I don't want to cover too much of this up back there. So I'm going to have to use like short items. So I'm like, maybe this is like a potting shed. So um, also I found out that the stacked bags, the soil customization is like in game. So you don't have to download an extra design. So like, how great is that? It's kind of like the colors are kind of like too obnoxious though. I don't know. What would happen if we put wedding candles on top of it? Okay, no, probably not. But yeah, I'm just gonna try a whole bunch of like, I custom designed the cushion. I don't know how that is gonna fit in. I don't know, I kind of like, have you ever had like those like garden kneelers? I was thinking maybe it could be something like that. I don't know. Um, and what else? I got some short stuff out. Um, geez, I don't know. Okay, leaf fields definitely can work with that. Okay, okay, I'm getting somewhere. Okay, so I think I got an idea now. I think I'm gonna put like a bricky kind of path like along here, move this like over and back and then make this like a, uh, put like the table, this table here, small covered round table. This is an like in-game customization and be like, hi, you can wine taste like in the vineyard. So I'm gonna go ahead and play around with this stuff and record as I go.
so I went to the llamas and I figured out what pattern has to go here. Oh my goodness. I'm not going back into construction mode. I strongly dislike the hat. Why do we have to wear the hat? Animal Crossing, why? We're smart. We don't need to know we're in construction mode because we know we are. Like, if you won't let friends come over because construction mode's on, you're going to tell us anyway. So I just, I don't get it. But anyway, um, I went to the alpaca and I was customizing some more of the items so that they look more rustic-y. So one of the items is DSL our camera. Oh my gosh, I could put the wedding candles on top of here. Ah! Okay, great. Great! Okay! Okay, that kind of makes sense. Not really, but okay, here we are. We need to use them. And I was thinking maybe like a... I'm not even talking. I didn't even finish my other thought. It's fine. Maybe like a, one of these counters I customized. Like, I don't know. Okay, no brick. No to the brick. Maybe put it like sideways with like partition. Wait! What if I put like partition in front of it? Counter table. Okay, this is the darkish one. What if I put, will Animal Crossing let me, wood partition, do I have one in my pockets? There's one here, I'll steal it. Will Animal Crossing let me put a wood partition in front of here without giving me attitude? Let's see. Oh, what a win, what a win. Okay, so this is kind of like, hi. Wait, I can put the antique cash register up here and then like, I was like, okay, dispenser, where is it? To be like, I guess, like hand sanitizer because that's the world we live in sometimes. Um, so yeah, I don't know. And then I got like another table, maybe. Is anybody gonna know what this is even? Is anybody gonna know? I don't know. Maybe wedding candles is not the move for there. I'm not sure. But this camera, this DSLR camera, I was like, oh, maybe it could be like somebody taking pictures of the the vineyard. Oh gosh, where is it? Somebody can be taking pictures of the vineyard and it's gonna be great if I could find it. Okay, here it is. DSLR, it's just an SLR. Cause it looks kind of vintage-y. I don't know, does that look cute? Maybe like put it over here? Oh, this is gonna go away as soon as the design challenge is over. I don't know how to make this work, but anyway. Mm. Okay, and then maybe like I have a stall that I did a custom design on with the grape situation. So maybe just keep like the counter and be like, okay, that's kind of cute. Okay, we love it. And then maybe I could put more stuff like here. I could put like, I could put like um, the wedding candles on there so it doesn't look obnoxious. Oh, come on. Why am I kicking out patterns? I'm better than that. Anyway, um, wedding candles can go on here for like just decoration. And I kind of like, I hopefully can figure it out better later, but the maypole behind that like storefront situation is pretty, pretty good. Okay, this is coming together to be a something. This is great. Okay, let me figure out more. And then let me actually maybe get like all the weird items out and see what we're gonna do with them so let me go ahead and do that okay so i got out a few more of the items that i haven't used yet and i went to the llama cyrus um and i customized them to the customization that i would probably actually use um so some of them pretty easy so we have glowing moss boulder I can put it as kind of like, okay, they're like mountain kind of grassy area situation. So there's like that there, and then I'm just gonna put one here. Okay, I gotta put the maypole back um, somewhere because I took it out. Okay, hear me out for this one. Hear me out. Get up there, little jelly. There you go. Okay. Hear me out on this one. Mini car, not the black one. I want a white one. Mini car up here, turned around, forced perspective, greenhouse situation. I'm going to make it work. That's what it's going to be because I don't know how else I'm going to make the mini car work. So we're going to do that. But also, I kind of want to hide the papa bear. I got to hide the papa bear somehow. 
I'm thinking maybe like put it behind here. Let's try it. I customized the bow to be the Kuridun um, wine label moment. So maybe it could be like, hi, this is like the sign to the winery. I don't know. Cause all you see is the giant teddy bear head now. Okay, so that's a no. I think we're just gonna plop a giant teddy bear in front and it's just gonna have to work. Or I could go back here, I guess. I don't know, I think it's going back here. But first, what else do we have over here? So we got a couple of different chairs, which is kind of unique. Like who who picked all these items? I think the idea of this 40 item challenge was kind of like how many items can you fit in your pocket and like fit one of every item in your pocket. But like, I don't, I don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna put giant vine back here to be like, to pretend like it's part of the grapes. And I think I'm gonna count my grapes as, oh, it won't go there, dang it. I'm gonna count my grapes as like the pergolas, cause I have pergolas. Um, maybe put this here and see what it looks like. I might have to move this, oh my goodness. I might have to move this faux greenhouse situation. I don't know if it has to be all in one picture. I mean, that's kind of like weird, but here we are. Um, so I have vintage stool, three different types of chairs, guys. Wow, okay. Yeah, I think the idea of this, something was like 40 items in your pockets kind of deal going on here. Okay, so I customized garden chair to brown. So I'm like, okay, that can go here. Cause like somebody's sitting here like working on the garden. Okay, whatever. And then maybe I was thinking, okay, antique cash register definitely can go, did I put it in my pockets? I did not. Antique cash register definitely can go there easily. Not the eco bag. Who <laughs> picked the eco bag? Come on guys. Um, antique cash register definitely can go here. Or I can go on the ground, that's also fine. Okay, antique cash register, thank you. Um, what else, what else can I do? Okay, ranch chair, I was gonna be like, okay, this chair is for the people behind the cash register, but we gotta get it to face the correct way first. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over so that I can put the cash register here. It's gonna be the wrong way, oh my gosh, come on. This is my first day at Animal Crossing, guys. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna put the cash register here. On this, there we go. And then this person gets this chair because we have three different kinds of chairs. So that's kind of hard. And then we have this simple stool, which I don't know. I don't know about the simple stool. Maybe it's gonna be like, just something like, Oh, not the maple. I think simple stool is just gonna have maybe like more bottles on them as you walk in. Um, we feels can go literally anywhere, but let's see how that, how does the mini car look up there? It's kind of like, hi, this is a greenhouse, right? Am I lying? We could put another storefront next to it and another thing next to it. That'll work. Okay, that will work. That's not too bad. Um, cherry blossom branches? I don't know how that's gonna work. I don't know how that's gonna work. And then we still have to do like the stove. We can put a bike anywhere. We can put these plants anywhere. We can drop the books and papers around like we're, we're true cottage core stands or something. And the cube light, the cube light, I was thinking something like it could go as a light at the entrance of the winery. Maybe we could put this on the simple stool customized with the Kuridun label. Okay, so let's try all that and I will report back to you. Okay, so I got another idea. You know how I said mini car as the greenhouse situation? I was thinking more so instead of that like storefront with the hand washing area in front of it, I was thinking more like, okay, since it's white, the other, the white storefronts don't really match, like the obnoxious white of the car. So I was thinking, okay, so what can make this look more greenhouse? So I'm like, okay, stonework kitchen turned backwards, stall with grape customization. Why you would need grapes in a greenhouse, I don't know, but here we are. 
And it's just gonna have to work because uh, design challenge. Yeah. Oh, maybe I could put, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let's, let's, uh, let's resume off camera and I will report back again. Okay, went a little crazy here with the build. I think I might be done. Gonna go over the lore here first to um, make this video make some sense. And um, before the next clip where I run around and check off every item in the build. So we went from grape washing station to table wine tasting area to mini car greenhouse and then now we have winery with wood-fired pizza with a gift shop built with stall, stone kitchen, wood partition, and a mini car. So that happened. So that's kind of like my build. And then I'm going to show the next clip where I run around and check everything off in this 40 items we had to use design challenge. Let's go. So in front of me, I have the list of the 40 items that we were supposed to use. Again, the idea was you have 40 items of pocket space um, and we're gonna pick 40 items to use in a build. Um, so here's the list. I'm gonna kind of run around crazy and make sure I have everything. So strapped books, antique cash register here for like the pieces situation, counter table here, giant vine. It's like I'm taking roll call. Giant vine as part of the grape situation back there. We have the eco bread bag in the gift shop. We have a regular barrel over here. Then we got stonework kitchen back there as part of this gift shop building. And then it's sideways pirate barrel here to be like, hi, these are wine barrels. Um, what's next? Glowing moss boulder. This back here, it's kind of just like, hi, we're in like a, a hilly situation. Actually, technically, I should take down all of those hedges and make them glowing moss to complete the build, but here we are. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, decorative bottles are here. Great. Wheat fields on the street as you're walking along. Wonderful. Okay, cube light is like, hi, we're selling pizza here. Snapping turtle is like, hi, we're taking a picture on the blanket because there's a snapping turtle there. Uh, Papa bear, um, gift shop entrance, mascot, I don't know, um, with the Kuridun wine winery symbol customized onto the bow. We have garden chair back here. We have cushion as pizza on the table. We got some wedding candles in our winery gift shop. We have the hand washing area as kind of a fountain situation. Dispenser is the hand sanitizer back there on the table when you walk in. Round pillow is this on the blanket back here in this moment with the camera, SLR camera. Then we have recycled paper bundle on that is kind of like the pamphlets when you walk in and then we have the mini car which i'm really excited to see how everybody else used the mini car it's kind of like their lights in the windows up there if it was a different time of day I, I can't wait to see what that looks but if it was a different kind of time of day it probably would be really cool so small covered round table over there we have the chauffeura i don't know how to say this the chauffeura um, we got our pergolas from our winery um, vineyard situation. We have simple stool back here to be like, hi, these are a pile of grapes. Um, this one was like really hard. I don't know if this counts, but here we are. Um, we have ranch chair as this person's entrance to the winery. Be like, hi, this is, this is what's going on here. Welcome to our pizza, wood fire pizza winery. Then we have some stalls, which is part of the gift shop. We have the stacked bags, which are the pizza. We have a cruiser bike on the road up here. We have Maypole up there behind this little, I don't know, this moment. I don't know what we want, want to call this. <laughs> we have cherry blossom branches along the road to be like high flowers to enter the gift shop. Safety rails to define the gift shop. 
storefront in this again fountain situation area i don't know maybe like we wash the grapes here i'm not sure um and then wood partitions are up there as part of the gift shop build vintage stools are over here as part of the pizza tables and we have plain party lights arch and then we have the zen cushions which is another pile of grapes because i couldn't think of how else to use them and then finally we have the wood plank table so that's my 40 item challenge i hope this video turns out well um be sure to go watch all of my other friends in this design challenge the idea was you have 40 items in your pocket and we need to have 40 items and we there was like a spreadsheet that we could all pick i don't know if i said this already or not but anyway <laughs> There's a spreadsheet that we could pick and add to the items if we wanted. We came up with 40 and we we're like, we all have to make a build for this. So uh, make sure you go watch all of my friends that are also in the collab. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you real soon, guys. Bye.